What's up, fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a beauty hack for you. Now, hopefully it ends up being a true beauty hack and not a fail, because to be honest, this is the very first time I'm gonna be trying this. Now, you guys already know my obsession with freaking TikTok, and if you guys haven't seen my other video, I already have a video called TikTok Made Me Buy It. Now on the app, if you guys aren't familiar, there's either 15 or one minute videos, and a lot of people do different beauty tips and different things that they purchase, uh, recipes, it's not just all dancing, trust me. But on there, there's a lot of different beauty hacks, and most of the time, I know most of them, and other times, I kind of am familiar with some of the hacks, but there is one in particular that has been going viral, and I'm very curious on it because I really wanna know if this is gonna be true. So basically, the hack is, is to do translucent powder, and go ahead and set it with setting spray, then you do your primer and then your foundation. So that sounds completely different. So you're basically prepping your face with powder beforehand and spraying it with setting spray and then primer and foundation. I've never tried anything of the sort, so I figured I would want to try it out. It seems pretty cool. I mean, the reactions that I see on the app, lots of people are like, they're very amazed, so I thought, okay, let me give this a shot. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe down below, click that bell. Now let's get into the beauty hack and hopefully not fail. Whoop! Hopefully my face turns out nice and flawless, so let's go into the steps. So the very first step is to moisturize your face. I'm using the Origins Ginseng Oil-Free Energy Boosting a Gel Moisturizer. So I know by doing this hack, you need to make sure that everything is pretty much dry. Now the next step was to put a translucent powder and swipe it all over the face and not to use too much. Now the girl in the video, she used the Maybelline Fit Me in translucent. I don't have that, but I do have the powder, but a medium, but I just want to stick to the rule. So I'm going to dust a translucent powder all over. Not too much, she said. I'm really curious to see how this is going to look, you guys. What do you guys think? Have you tried it? Let me know down below. We're gonna find out the results real soon. So next up is to put a setting spray over your powder. Now, I don't have the NYX one that she used, but she just said use any setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the All Nighter from Urban Decay. Okay, that's usually how much I spray. I'm gonna make sure this dries down all the way. Just pat this into my skin. And I made sure that my gel moisturizer was completely soaked into my skin as well. Now, after doing my moisturizer, my translucent powder and setting it with a setting spray, the next step is to do the primer. Now, I don't know how this is gonna be over the powder. I don't know if it's gonna clump up or not. I'm just gonna be using the Maybelline Prime Blur and Smooth. This is one of my favorite drugstore primers. Hopefully it blends in. Okay, it definitely feels different. I could feel like a more tacky base. Hopefully the powder doesn't clump up, but I didn't use too much. Oh wait, it's starting to look funny right here. Like it's clumping. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, that's what I was worried about. <gasps> Do you guys see that? I look kinda, okay. Whoa, I almost poked my eyes. I don't know. I will say it definitely feels different because this primer is more like smooth and like a lotion and now it's feeling a little bit more tacky. It doesn't feel bad, but look, it's starting to clump around the face. Why is it clumping right there? It almost doesn't wanna like go away. Okay, I had to scrape that off, that looked weird. I just take like a little bit on my neck, not too much. It doesn't feel like I'm just putting the primer on right after my moisturizer like usual. Okay, this is weird. Now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be taking my favorite drugstore foundation. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour. This one's in 310. As you can see, this is definitely one of my faves. I already have a backup. I thought this was almost well, it is almost empty, but I still have like a couple pumps left. I know how this foundation works, and it is one of my it's honestly probably my number one drugstore foundation. So if this looks weird, I know this hack didn't work and it ended up being like a fail. So let's start pushing this into the skin. Mm, wait a minute. But it almost looks like it's going on like it's going to be set. It doesn't feel weird placing it on and it doesn't seem like it's caking up. I think when I first placed it on, it was looking good. But now that I'm like looking at my skin, I'm starting to get clumps right here. Ooh, of the foundation. I think it's because the powder clumped up. I didn't put too much powder, you guys. Like I literally sweeped it and this isn't even a dense brush. This is like a sweeper brush. I feel like it looks okay, but it's kind of looking cakey. Okay, I can already tell that this is a total fit. Oh no, look at that. Let me zoom. Hopefully you guys can see this weird design right here. That is not cute at all. Look how it's clumping up. But it's, oh, it's clumping onto my sponge too. If you guys see that, like the powder. My favorite drugstore foundation. I think this looks so bomb every primer I use. 
And for, look how it's like clumping into my hair. Mm -mm, I do not have dandruff. No dry scalp here. Oh yeah, it looks super weird right here. <gasps> it doesn't look good. Like it, it looks cakey in person and I don't like how it was clumping. Like I literally had to go like this to like take it off, like push it away. So it would take away that clumpiness. I'm gonna do my concealer, set it, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a shot, you guys. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay guys, so I am back. I did my concealer and I set it. Now I'm gonna try to set the rest of the face because I will say now that I'm like looking at it, it does still look cakey in my opinion and it was kind of weird when I was blending it out. I'm gonna go ahead and set it. That might make it look a little bit better. It doesn't look terrible right now, but that's because I feel like this is a good foundation. But for it to not look like how I'm used to it looking, I need to set it or something. Something is off, so let's try that. Back into a translucent powder just to set this baby and let's see if it helps. Okay guys, so now this is what the face is looking like so far. Uh, I still feel like it looks kind of heavy and cakey. Um, I think it was those extra steps. Okay, now I'm for real gonna do like bronzer, blush, highlight, and then I'll be back and then let's just do like the overall and the final thoughts. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup. I did my blush, I did my highlighter, everything is already set. It still looks a little cakey in my opinion because I know what this foundation looks like, but overall it doesn't look bad. Like I think it's okay. Will I go ahead and do this hack? Probably not just because I saw like the clumping and it kind of looks heavy in certain areas Like I can tell even up here when I put on my highlighter. It looks kind of cakey I don't know if I don't know if you can pick it up But I can in person and you know when you know like what your makeup is supposed to look like and it just looks heavy like on this side Maybe it'll last really long But all in all I want my face to look more flawless and less cakey if I could have like a pick between Flawless or longevity. Honestly, I'm gonna go for flawless and if I have to repowder or whatever then I don't mind it uh, But yeah, it's probably not for me. Let me know if you guys have tried it out Unfortunately, this is gonna be a womp for me. Let me know. Did you try it out? Did it work out for you? I followed all the steps. All right guys Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed me testing this out Let me know if you guys want me to try out any other hacks leave them down below. Maybe it worked for you Maybe you're just like damn I look much better. I'm gonna stick to this routine. Let me know. Love you pineapples and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Whoop. Here we go. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to do.